For 70 years, the Juvenile Welfare Board has invested in children and families to improve their lives and make our communities stronger. Created by Pinellas County citizens who believed that all children matter. Woven into the fabric of the community so that all children will have a future of more successful and satisfying lives. Last year, JWB invested over $46 million with 52 nonprofit agencies to provide 79 different programs strategically chosen to have a positive impact on children and families. These investments were made across three strategic focus areas, school readiness, school success, and the prevention of child abuse and neglect. That's nearly 53,000 children and families who are better off who are stronger and healthier as a result of these investments. But behind every number, there's a story. Behind every number, there's a face. One of the faces behind the numbers belongs to 18-month-old Jacob. His mother, Angie, got help from a professionally trained home visitor, empowering her by sharing the knowledge, tools, and support she needs to raise a healthy young man capable of achieving his full potential. Nearly 3,000 families like Jacob's received help from similar JWB-funded programs last year. Little Jacob and his mom are just two of the faces behind the numbers. Mahetsi graduated from one of JWB's school readiness programs, where she received quality instruction in an environment perfect for helping her develop the skills she needs for school. And her parents were taught how to advocate for her educational needs and get excited and involved in her learning. Mahetsi is one of nearly 6,000 children now prepared to enter kindergarten ready to learn and better prepared for a lifetime of learning. Then there's Dale, a seventh grader who is excited to attend an after-school program where he gets to learn boxing and gets help with his homework. His grades improved drastically from D's and F's to A's and B's. In all last year, close to 11,000 youth like Dale benefited from out-of-school time programs, inspiring them to aim high and achieve. Dakota and his sixth grade classmates learned techniques they can use to resolve conflicts respectfully so that disagreements don't turn into fights, suspensions, or worse. Dakota is one of more than 13,000 who benefited from JWB-funded programs designed to promote healthy learning environments so kids like him can be better prepared for school and life. All children and adolescents benefit from having mentors, tutors, and other caring adults in their lives. Malik has been spending time with his mentor and tutor, Jerwan, after school for four years and has seen his grades improve greatly. They are studying now for college entrance exams, and Malik is interested in becoming an electrical engineer like Jerwan. He's one of more than 2,000 faces smiling and connected to an adult who cares thanks to a JWB mentoring program and collective efforts are underway by JWB and our partners to make sure more kids like Malik have caring adults in their lives. There are so many stories behind the numbers, like Jeremy's and his two children. He was working but homeless when he took custody of his young son and daughter. Thanks to the Family Services Initiative, Jeremy and his family received real-time help in a time of crisis, like more than 10,000 others last year, helping them find a safe home and childcare while he works, safeguarding their dignity and strengthening them as a family. Three-year-old Selena learns how to cook healthy meals with her grandmother at one of the eight neighborhood family centers. NFCs are at the heart of their neighborhoods and located in Pinellas County's highest areas of need, where about 2,500 others, like Selena and her grandmother, received everything from help with food and clothing to after-school programs and free income tax filing. Janaya eats breakfast and lunch at school every day, but she rarely has enough food at home on the weekends. 
and it gets worse over the summer when she's not in school. JWB partnered with the Public Defender's Office's Nourish to Flourish program to provide over 145,000 meals last year so kids don't go hungry on the weekends and other breaks from school. Plus, efforts to promote the federally funded summer food program paid off along with targeting high-need areas with new faith-based and mobile food pilots. Thanks to these collective efforts, more than 500,000 meals were served across all break spot sites last summer, a 16% increase from the previous year. Kids like Henry are excited about reading and it's spreading thanks to a JWB-led collective effort called Early Readers, Future Leaders. This is part of the national grade level reading campaign to help communities build and improve early literacy skills. The Early Readers Campaign is working to get every child reading at grade level by the third grade, tackling obstacles like summer learning loss and school absenteeism. Last year, more than 10,000 books were given to children, and their parents received reading tips and other resources to help their children succeed. Jennifer is safer around the water thanks to free swim lessons she received at her local YMCA. She is one of about 1,000 kids who received free swim lessons and water safety courses last year thanks to a partnership between the Tampa Bay Rays, JWB, and others. And JWB and our partners launched a new campaign called Warning Signs to prevent serious injury or death to children under 6 due to causes that are 100% preventable. Drowning, unsafe sleep, and abusive head trauma. Pastor Bill Blasasso and the Florida Dream Center are working alongside JWB to improve the lives of families in poverty-stricken neighborhoods. JWB-led community change initiatives make connections, build capacity, and provide training and technical assistance. And JWB's three community councils in North, South, and Mid Pinellas County help identify needs and extend our reach into the community. Last year, JWB collaborated with hundreds of partners across the county, ranging from faith-based to business and grassroots organizations, to support our work and ultimately make our communities stronger. JWB staff, as subject matter experts, shared our story, best practices, knowledge, and expertise with others who, like us, are dedicated to improving the lives of children and families and strengthening our communities. In total, about 200 presentations and trainings were provided last year throughout Tampa Bay, across Florida, and around the country. Our vision is that children in Pinellas County will have a future of more successful and satisfying lives because of the efforts of JWB and our partners. Never losing sight of the individual child behind the numbers investing wisely in their potential, strengthening families and communities, and facing the future with hope.